Hello everyone, I'm Vimic Quattro and welcome back to my channel. And you knew, guys, I had to make a video on this. Y'all had to know. My name is Gimmick Quattro. I am literally the embodiment of this deck. There are videos on my channel going back like four or five years of me playing this deck and comboing and trying out different types of mixtures with this deck. So if they're going to drop any new type of support for my deck, you know, you know I'm going to have to pull up and start talking about it. But before I kind of get into the cards, y'all have seen these videos before. They've been out for a little bit now, or at least at least a day or two. Uh, I saw it pop up on my feed today on YouTube. And uh, so I'm, I'm a little late to the party, and that's totally fine. But I'd like to make a little note first. I'm a little annoyed because it feels like there's a lot of these people who are coming out of the woodworks who, like, never really cared for the deck beforehand but all of a sudden, now there's a new FDK and whatever else. And all of a sudden, people are jumping on the bandwagon like it's the greatest thing since sliced bread. And it's like, like I get it. Like, I should be happy with, like, the support uh, for the deck that I love so much. And other people should get into it. But at the same time, it's like, I've been playing this deck for years. Like, five plus years now, I have enjoyed this deck i have never abandoned it i've never thought like i always knew there was potential and something behind it i was like that when the last wave of support came in i'm still like that now before all this and now with this so like i've really stuck behind this deck for like a minute and to now just have all these people coming out being like oh gimmick puppets could be so good now and oh the fdk and it's like it, it really feels like it kind of takes away and it's like I don't know. I don't know if I necessarily agree with it. Like, but I can't be like too mad either because I do want more and more people liking and taking interest into this deck. So my little mini rant out of the way. Um, let's talk about the cards. That's kind of what we're here to do. I also know there was a lot of talk. Um, at least some people were talking about the uh, the artwork. And I have to, I never really finished that video, but I want to. I think it was King, what is his name? King Calamity or. I, I'm sorry. I'll try to put the YouTuber's name up either in the description or up on the channel um, of who he is. But he was talking about it. And I was just reading through the comment section. A lot of people were like, oh, but the artwork is the best part. And oh, it's like, it's what makes it and this, that, the other thing. So most of I don't know if he was like dogging on the artwork or not, but like if he was, I'm a little annoyed because the aesthetic is so good. Like this image right here screams gimmick puppet in every way, shape and form. I will say I did look through these cards earlier. Like this is like a little bit while well, that work. So I have like a rough idea of what some of these things do and stuff like that. And I am very interested in them. There are a fair number, which I'm really glad about. And I will be buying up, you know I'm going to be buying up at least a couple boxes of the set when it comes in. I also have an opening coming up soon in which I'm going to open up the Legendary Duel Season 3 so I can pull uh, the other Gimmick Puppet card so I can have a playlist of everything. Uh, I already have like most of them. I have to look through my deck and see what I have. But I want to definitely get more so I can build a much more full deck and have a couple different variants of the deck floating around. So, first and foremost, we have Gimmick Puppet Little Soldiers. It is a level 4 dark machine, typical. Zero attack, zero defense. That usually doesn't matter in the situation. You can only use, use the first effect of this card once per turn, which is interesting. If this card is normal or special summon, you can send one Gimmick Puppet monster with a different level from your deck to the graveyard. This card's level becomes that sent monsters great way to start off some of the combos great way for you to gather to get like from the old support and since i don't really have an odds of the new support right now for the old support getting a dreary doll into the graveyard getting a bisque doll into the graveyard getting a terror baby into the graveyard like bisque and terror baby would be like later on if you just need that little extra protection this would be a great way to dump those in there um, actually, you can't do Terror Baby since it's the same level, but you could dump either Bisque or Dreary Doll to kind of start off certain combos and to get some place up in the graveyard. If you already happen to have something inside the graveyard, 
then it's a great way to get out Bisk to, uh, to get out Dreary Doll. So all around great. It's basically just a better Scissor Arms. It gives you a reason to get rid of Scissor Arms and play this instead. And at higher copies. And then the second effect is you can banish this card from your graveyard, then target up to two gimmick puppet monsters you control, increase their level by four until the end of this turn. Again, interesting, because in theory, and I don't know how often this would come up, you could do rank 12 plays. If you, since this effect can be used multiple times, you could have like four rank 12 you could have like four 12 star monsters on the field that you could do rank 12 plays with if you really wanted to or and obviously it's really meant to target like your level fours um humpty humpty dumpty can special himself from hand or when he's normal or special summon you can special summon another gimmick pop a monster from your hand so you could bring out like another like level four Daz troy or whatever and then you can have this guy in your graveyard. You could banish it, then target up to two monsters, and bam. Now they're both level eight, which is fantastic. It makes a little bit more use for some of those guys. Also, with Puppet Parade, Puppet, no, Puppet per, Perform Puppet. With Perform Puppet, it works with the graveyard. Once one of your gimmick puppet monsters is destroyed, you can get a card out of your graveyard and summon it back to the field. Or something like that. So like that's it, it just it's a like a nice cycle to kind of go into each other. So I think it's really good for the level four and to have it with the rank eight plays. Next we have this gorgeous card. I am telling you, I love like the dolls. Dreary doll, bisque doll, and I if I keep butchering her name, I do apologize, guys. And now bloody doll. I'm sure it'll get changed in the English. Um it might say as Bloody Doll. It would be sick if it did. But this card's artwork, I swear to you, is one of the best for this archetype. Oh, it's so, so stinking good. I love it. Another level 8. 400 attack, 1400 defense. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name once per turn, or each once per turn, you cannot special summon from your active deck the turn you activate the either these cards effects except for gimmick puppet monsters. The gimmick puppet restriction from the extra deck usually should not matter. It, it shouldn't. There's enough going on in the extra deck, even with the old support, um, that it really doesn't matter that much, but especially with the new support, and we'll get to that. So that restriction doesn't mean much, and I love it. So the first effect, you can, if this card is in your hand, you can reveal a gimmick pup or exceeds monster from your active deck, special summon both one gimmick pup monster from your deck with equal with level equal to the revealed monster's rank and this card. Instant, instant rank eight of either the new support or some of the old stuff. It can also help you set up for some of the bigger rank eight plays. Uh, number 88. Or, um, yeah, number 88 is like a really big one in this situation because it takes three material. So it's a, it could be a much faster way to get to that, which is just, it also is good for setting up more plays. Um, uh, it also lets you get into more exceed plays per turn. And the second fact is, if this card is sent to the graveyard except from the hand, you can add it to your hand. Immediate cycling, immediate cycling is so good. It's so good. That means you can dump it. You could use Little Soldier's Effect to dump it into the graveyard from the deck. It becomes an 8. Now you have this in hand. Then you can do a reveal and summon two more. Now that's an instant, that's instant three level eight monsters on the field. It's so good. Oh, cattle scream, cattle scream, cattle scream, cattle scream. This just screams like Des Troy vibes and uh, the Chimera. It's another level eight, which I was not fully surprised but I was a little surprised to get two level eights it is a 
2,000 attack, 200 defense, not bad in attack, depending on how easy you get out. And honestly, with the new support, it's not that hard at all. You can only use the first effect of this card's name once per turn. So again, only restriction on the first effect was it interesting. You can detach one of these material from your monster, special this card from your hand, or graveyard, but banish it when it leaves the field. Really good effect. Because that also means that you could like make a quick rank 8, and if, say if you had bloodied all a part of it, you could then discard bloodied all to then bring her back to hand and have this thing get special summoned out into field. The other thing that's really good for, and that most people probably don't know about because they don't know the deck very well, not the same way that I do, it's great for number C88 because then it's a part of its effect is, is that when you have no materials on this card is a part of the winning game state. So it helps actually speed up that process. Something else you people didn't think about. No, did you? No, because you don't know the deck the way that I do. <laughs> Anyways, sorry. It's the second fact. A gimmick puppet exceeds monster that has its card as material gains its effect. Once per turn, you can target one monster in your opponent's graveyard spot, summon it to their field in defense position. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to work really well with another one of the exceeds monsters. Um, honestly, good effect. Good effect. There are destruction effects that take place in the deck for burn and i know that's what's uh, for the ftk i know that's what we're talking about is the different burn effects definitely with the new gimmick puppet monsters so but see even some of the older ones uh with like dark strings and stuff like that can can really be useful and uh and giant hunter can really use this effect quite well now we will move on to the boy I was really excited when I saw this because, honestly, I love Quattro. And I think making him an Xyz monster only makes sense. Uh, beautiful. Getting, like, the perfect scheme. Like, a nice look. Having a dual disc on both sides type of a style. Really, just really, really well done. Now, this is Gimmick Puppet Fan... Fanta Fantasix Machina. Uh, it's a rank 8 dark machine, obviously, 1500 attack, 3100 defense, nice wall, great wall, two level 8 monsters, I don't know if that's, like, low, oh, that's cool, it's fan service plus, that's really cool, because, He's he, like his whole like Quattro's whole stick in the show was he loves his fans, the fan service. It's all about the fans. And so having a mixed name like that is really cool. Sorry, off topic. You can use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. I don't know why they didn't say like why they couldn't word that better. I'm sh but whatever. You can detach one material from this card add one rank up magic spell from your deck to your hand also during your main phase this turn you can normal summon one machine monster in addition to your normal summon set this is so good getting a way to search any rank up spell is incredible and this deck desperately needed it and i've talked about that before in the past i actually have a video that I posted a few years ago about like custom gimmick puppet cards that I would like to see added to the game. Some of them based off of like some of them weren't custom. They were based off of the in the show and some of them were custom um, to what I thought would be good. And a rank up magic searcher was a part of that custom. This helps out your plays so much and it's so easy to make. So guaranteeing rank ups is really, really good for the deck. Also, an additional normal summon of a machine is huge. And the, to note, it's not limited to just like dark machine or just gimmick puppets. It's any machine. So you can also put this in other decks. I don't know why you would want to, but you could. Um, or you could mix this deck with other types of decks that operate on machines. And I have other videos on that out. I uh, will try to link them down below. If you want to check that out, one of them being the Orcus Monsters. Huh, what do you know? 
I know something about this stupid deck. I know, not stupid. I love it. It's my baby. Off topic. Anyways. Um, really good effect. Number two, if you special summon a gimmick puppet Xyz monster, you can special summon this card from your graveyard in either face up defense position, then you can add one rank up magic spell from your graveyard to your hand. Oh, to either field and defense. Oh, do you know how good that is? Do you know how good it is to be able to special summon this to your opponents out of the field? Then you can go into number 15 giant hunter and the burn damage you could do with that. Oh, so good. Um, also cycling of rank up magic spells from the graveyard to hand, really good, oh, absolutely necessary. And any special summon that sees, oh, gimmick puppet sees monster, super easy to just constantly keep bringing this guy back for other like rank up plays. I love it because you could rank up into. There's so many different rank ups, so many different rank ups. You can go into uh dark strings. Um, you could go into something hunter um oh giant hunter i think it is the rank up to um uh number 15 giant grinder it's it's uh, it's that rank cards rank up there's already like three rank or three rank ups you go into um the new one that we're going to get to and then those two so huge huge also let's move on Chaos exceeds no oh wait 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 oh the imagery it's so beautiful it's so good it's another kind of take on giant grinder which I absolutely love to have another look at giant grinder like this but using more of the quattro like look it's so good anyways this is Chaos Xyz Gimmick Puppet fan Fantax Machina. It is a rank 9 Dark Machine with 3100 attack and 1500 defense. With 3 level 9 monsters of material. You can only use the first, second, third effect of this card's name each once per turn. That's fine. This card is special summon. You can add one puppet trap from your deck to your hand. Which I don't know. There is a new puppet trap. So it's probably going to work really well with that. But also works even well with the puppet parade. I think puppet parade is a good trap. At like one. Maybe two copies per deck. And if you are on the back foot. And you're definitely lower life points than your opponent. It's a very good card to pull out. Have sat. You can summon a bunch of stuff to your side of the field. As blockers. And it helps you get a rank up I believe. So there might be two searchers for rank ups. There is. That one's also a search for rank ups. So it's just not nearly as good since it's a trap and it's a bit slower. And you can set the rank up instead of adding it to hand. Um, Two, you can detach one material from this card, but summon one monster from either graveyard to your opponent's field and defense position. And three, if a monster is special summoned to your opponent's field, you can target one of them, destroy it. If you do, inflict damage to your opponent equal to half its original attack. Again, it's fine. It's it's where the FTK is going to come from. By using, you can summon your Xyz monsters to their side of the field. And you can just do massive amounts of burn damage with like Giant Grinder. Or we can do it with like Dark Strings. There's probably a pretty easy way at this rate to like load up your graveyard with like Xyz monsters. And then just being able to put them on your opponent's side of the field. And then go into Dark Strings. Um, and then rank up from Dark Strings. And just blow everything up on the field. Yeah. It's not hard. So, really cool. think he's going to be really good for the deck. It's a pretty simple effect, but really good at what it does. Now, this is the one that it feels like a lot of people had like a lot to say about. Mansion of Hell Dolls, Mansion of the Underworld Dolls, whatever name it might go by. Honestly, fantastic name. I love it. Also, we have your girl Dreary looking all cute, like in like more like a chibi style and Egghead. So, and it looks sick. Looks sick. 
I didn't think of them being in like a mansion or something like that, but I, I, I like it. Uh, it's a field spell. You can only activate one card from where this card, or you can only activate one card with this card's name per turn. Okay. When this card resolves, you can add one gimmick pup monster from your deck to your hand. A searcher? N always needed. Always needed. Always. Gimmick puppet monsters you control cannot be destroyed by battle. Also, they're they're unaffected by your opponent's activated non-exceeds monsters effects. This type of protection is huge. Seeing the fact that there's already other forms of protection that you can put on your monsters. So your exceeds monsters could be absolutely stacked to crap with protection. And they would have to deal with the field spell before they can deal with anything else. Because you already have access to like Condolence Puppet, which protects your gimmick puppet monsters um, from effects. You have things like Bisque Doll in Terror Baby, which prevents um, your monsters from being like their effects from being disrupted and from them being affected by certain things. So there's so much protection already on Xyz monsters that doing the OTK are like doing the instant win condition with number 88 should be basically a cakewalk. Like I wouldn't be surprised if if like if this made it to master duel or if it made it to other like into the actual card game that you could have this be like a better like a casual or maybe a little bit above casual strategy for going into and doing the um number 88 like instant win. And then the third effect, once per turn, you can detach one Xyz material from your monster, then target one gimmick pup. You can detach one Xyz material from your monster, then target one gimmick pup from your monster, in your graveyard, spatch some it to your opponent's field in defense position. Which kind of goes along with just some of the other effects. Um, if your opponent can't really do anything with the monster on their field too, then I guess it kind of puts something on the board. But it's just another means to just add things onto your opponent's board so you can just blow it up later on with like dark strings. Um, and then service puppet, nice trap card. Honestly, I love, I love it. So it's one of the first like major duels that we actually see in the show of Quattro and you kind of see the darker side of him come out. Um, and he's facing Bronk and Caswell and just the absolute annihilation that he does to them for no good reason, by the way. It's so good. And then it leads into an epic duel between um, Shark and Trey, which I also really loved. And I would love to see more Chronomaly support. Um, so Service Puppet is a normal trap card. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. Target monster your opponent controls up to the number of gimmicks puppet exceeds monsters you control. Take control of them to the end of the phase. It's kind of in my mind, it's a worse Chimera doll effect. Or no, Gigantus doll. It's a worse Gigantus doll effect. Because at least Gigantus doll, you can take two, then you can get rid of him to make them both level eight. So there's like a little bit more manipulation you can do with them. But to be able to take your opponent's monsters, being able to do things with them is still really good. And if you control a gimmick puppet exceeds monster, except this turn this card was sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card to the graveyard. Target one exceeds monster in either graveyard spell summit to the field, to either field in defense position. It just helps out with like the strategy, um, like the FTK. But honestly... You get, like, one turn. You need, like, one turn. You could probably take out your opponent by turn two if they don't have too much going on. And if you can get enough setup going on. Huh. We're not going to look through a lot of these uh, comments, but... I... And that's my thoughts. I really like the deck. That's me kind of walking through it. Also... Um, this card here, 
This card here, we love it so much. It's a machine dupe target. It is a machine dupe target. That means you can use the A. It gives you a rank four play if you want. B, it gives you the secondary effect can be used multiple times per turn. So if you can constantly get things on the board going and you have three of these in your graveyard and you can just keep cycling and putting things on the board, like level fours, you can keep increasing them. Like it gives you more of a reason to play the level fours. So I saw the machine dupe up there and that's what made me think about it. Honestly, I could have a cracked strategy for this deck in like no time. I really could. I know this I know these cards like the back of my hand. They I am so adverse in this deck. It's my favorite deck of all time. And I'm sure I will end up figuring out combos and things to do with this deck more than other people will in time. Um I love it. I think they're a fantastic looking group of cards. Um I'm really excited to see. I'm a little disappointed because I really, I always wanted to go and be in a tournament and win with them. And now I feel like I'm really losing out my opportunity to kind of be like a really strong forerunner of it with this new support. I don't even play the locals. So a little disappointed in that regard, but at least I'm getting new support for my deck that eventually will get overshadowed and I will still be playing it. And maybe I'll get my chance somewhere down the line. So I'm sorry this was a lot longer video, guys. It didn't mean for it to be. It was a little bit ranty. I do apologize. I hope you enjoyed, though, um, at least a little bit. And I will see you guys soon. I have a couple of uh, couple of videos that I want to post here soon. I actually have another gimmick puppet profile I want to post. So maybe we'll work on that a little bit more tonight. And I can get that up soon to kind of go along with the impending uh, gimmick puppet monsters coming out. Also, on my TCG gimmick or gimmick TCG account, there I'm going to be posting a video soon where I'm going to open up the legendary duelist boxes, searching for the gimmick puppet monsters. Um, so, look out, I'll have a link to that channel in my description for you guys to go check out as well. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you again hopefully soon in the next video. Peace.